The organ of corti is located in the cochlea, a spiral, three-chambered, snail-like structure within a bony matrix. The organ of corti extends from the anterior part of the vestibule and coils for about two and a half turns around a bony pillar called the modialis. In cross-section is the scala media. This houses the organ of corti, which is referred to as the receptor organ of hearing. The scala media is filled with endolymph. The scala media includes structures from the tectorial membrane, basilar membrane, and hair cells, which sense the mechanical forces. There are two kinds of hair cells, inner and outer hair cells. 95% of the afferent fibers are from the inner hair cells. Outer hair cells receive mostly efferent input. The filamentous structures that connect the tips of adjacent stereocilia are known as tip links. These are thought to amplify the forces in the area of the molecular sensors. How does sound enter the cochlea? Compression hits the tympanic membrane, causing the stapes to transfer force to the oval window. From there, sound moves to the round window. High frequencies are encoded at the base and low frequencies at the apex. It is this property that leads to the tonotopic map along the base of the membrane. The manner in which the basilar membrane vibrates in response to sound is the key to understanding cochlear function. The hair cells are located between the tectorial and basilar membranes and are stimulated by the shearing force between the two caused by the pivot point of the two membranes. The apical portion of the hair cell is bathed in high potassium solution, and the base of the hair cell is bathed in potassium-poor solution. This establishes that potassium flow through the cell is used for both depolarization, potassium in at the apex, and repolarization, potassium out at the base, of the hair cell. The hair cells convert vibrations into neural impulses sent to the brain. Your brain then interprets these nerve impulses as sound.